good Easter Monday morning to you guys. Welcome back to the channel. I just want to give you a quick little update on our inventory situation. Last week we had a fairly busy week, and uh, which started off kind of the week before. And where it being only a four-day week for us, Friday, uh, Good Friday being a holiday for us, we find ourselves in a position where we're down to basically uh, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17 vehicles for sale on the lot. That's low for us as a rule. As you can see, we got some SUVs over there, some cars over here, and one lonely Ford Ranger sitting off to the side. So coming from a car lot where we would normally have this time of year, probably somewhere in the vicinity of 25 to 30 vehicles, we are down in inventory. So this week is going to concentrate on building the inventory back up. So we'll keep you up to date on some of the things that we're buying. And uh, also don't forget, we've got these. The 09 GMC Sierra, which is almost ready for the lot, as well as the 2013 Ford F-150. Again, almost ready for the lot. The Ford Ranger still sitting out there, waiting to get in. We've got the 2010 Ford Fusion, which we've got to get through the shop as well. And then it's ready. Focus is a customer vehicle. The Jeep is gone, and the Ford Escape is bought and paid for. We're just waiting for her to come and pick up her new ride. And there sits the sorry looking Kia Soul. So I'm just heading over here next door to Cox's to talk to uh, my buddy Rob because I need a new laptop and he sent me something that uh, I think I might be interested in and I haven't been in since I did some of the newer uh, renovations to his uh, building so we'll take a look inside. Ken, how you doing? Thank you. Good. Mr. Sawyer? How are you, sir? Not too bad. I come in to see the renovation but I guess this is all you got. <laughs> It's hidden. hidden well. <laughs> it's not quite that time yet. Not quite? The wall's going. It's going to be good when it's done, though. Oh, it is going to look really yeah. nice when you walk in and see the clear down through it, eh? Yeah. New laptop is ordered. Can't wait. Just walking over the truck to go home tonight, and I noticed that. I'd say Grampy must have hit something. He's plowing. Had to have been Grampy. Well guys, I was sitting at my desk today and I get a notification on my phone saying that I had gotten a new subscriber. So when I had a minute, I stopped and I checked it out and my new subscriber was Hammerdown Motorsports. And Hammerdown Motorsports, the guy's name is Steve Fast. He's originally from Alberta and he's got a YouTube channel, now lives in Pennsylvania. And I've been following him now for a couple of months as well and he posted a video of a recent trip back to uh, Alberta so I commented on it you know welcome home type of thing you know fellow Canadian and anyways the notification that I got was him making the subscription to my channel I thought that was pretty cool so uh, I'm now up to 83 subscribers woohoo Wednesday, April the 4th, and we had a dusting of snow last night, but because we're on the coast, it's mostly going to be rain today, so it should get rid of what's left of the snow. What? Gross. Hi, doggies. Hey. <laughs> How are you doing? That's the spring sun I like to see. Man, is it ever windy this morning? So guys, just a little over two weeks ago, I bought a truck at the auction online in Toronto. And I still haven't seen it yet. When I arranged for the transportation, the guy told me it would be by the weekend. So I, I bought the truck on a Tuesday and the weekend came and went so the next week I gave him a call and asked him 
you know, what was the ETA, and he said, oh, he should be able to pick that up by Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay, so Tuesday and Wednesday came and went, and so I sent him off another message, and it was supposed to be Tuesday or Wednesday this week. Today is Thursday, and I'm on my way to work, and I'm hoping that when I get there, I will see this 2012 F-150 regular cab four-wheel drive sitting in my lot. Hoping. No F-150 in here. And there is one out there, but it's the wrong one. Guess I'm gonna have to make a phone call. Hey Sean, it's Jason Carr. How you doing? Not bad. Good. Just wondering how you're making out with my truck. Good. It's in the air, uh, but it's just unloaded, so it should be offloaded between 10 and 11 this morning. Okay, so if I sent somebody up after lunch, it would be alright? Yep, you 100% golden. Perfect. Alright, no problem, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. So the truck is at the uh, transport company's yard in uh, Quispam Sis, which is about an hour and 15 minutes away. So what we'll probably end up doing is uh, rather than waiting for them to bring it down to us, we will just send a couple of drivers up to grab the truck and bring it back here. So hopefully I can get hold of a couple of drivers today, send them up, and have that truck back here in the yard before we close today. So we did find our fourth dealer tag. It was in the back of a Kia Soul. Kind of, uh, kind of forgot about it just simply because it wasn't uh, the car wasn't even on the lot. But we're sending a couple of drivers up to St. John to pick up the 2012 Ford F-150 that was supposed to be delivered here a couple of days ago, actually last week. But anyways, they're going up to get it, and we'll have it back here this afternoon. The F-150 has arrived. Good sneakers on it. Take her for a drive. So we are in the 2012 Ford F-150 XL. And it is just a regular cab, four-wheel drive. V6. And not the twin turbo V6, it's just the uh, 3.7 I believe it is. But it does have air conditioning, it's got a CD player. It seems to be tight, no squeaks or rattles. Although it is a little bit on the dirty side. Again, we call that clean dirt, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue to get that uh, shampooed and cleaned up. Stereo works good, speakers aren't rattling. She's got cruise control, we'll see if the cruise control works. Cruise control works. somebody a really good truck. Brakes feel good, tires are like new, there's no vibration there. All we gotta do now is get her clean and get her done. All kinds of... Oh. Found a pin. <laughs> a couple of them by the looks of things. Tear in the seat, we can send that next door to Danny. He'll fix that right up for us. Oh, uh, that'll buff. Oh, 
all in all, it seems like a pretty good truck. A um, little bit of cleaning, elbow grease, and we'll check it over mechanically, make sure that everything's good that way. And uh, I think it's going to make somebody a really good truck. Okay, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, what we had to offer this time around. In my next video, we're going to be putting the modification on the uh, old Cordoba. We're going to see how that works. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take it for a test drive because I do have the interior tore apart, but we're hoping for some warmer weather, and if that doesn't happen by the weekend, then I'm going to grab a heater and uh, put it inside the car, warm up that metal, and we'll get that Dynamat put in uh, and get that project put to bed. I want to do that because spring is here, and I do want to be driving the car uh, really soon. So we'll get the modification done to the carburetor, we'll get the Dynamat uh, installed and the interior back together and hopefully that'll make up enough content for the next video. I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch my videos. We're almost to the 100 subscriber mark. Uh, we gained a couple over the last couple of days. We are up to 86 as of this afternoon. So we are hoping that very soon we'll hit the 100 subscriber mark and I'm really looking forward to that. So having said all that guys, I appreciate everything. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you see, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, please click on the boxes to the right or to the left. And I would appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button and share these videos with your friends so that we can get to that 100 subscriber mark. We're almost there. Thanks again, and we will see you in the next upload.